Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web, and I got something new a little bit ago, and it's one that I've seen on the market a lot. It's actually been said that it is one of the best entry-level PCPs in the market. One of the best, not the best, but one of the best. And I've been curious about it. It looks pretty awesome just from what I've seen from other people's reviews and stuff, but now I've got it in my hands, guys, so. It's the Air Venturi Avenger. This one's in 25 cal. So after unboxing it and seeing what my options are just right off the bat, of course, mounted an optic because it does not come with open sights, so must have an optic mounted. The scope that I chose to mount on here is from Hawk. This is the Hawk Vantage 30. Um, it is four to 16 by 50, I believe. Yes, four to 16 by 50. This one has exposed locking turrets, 30 millimeter monotube chassis, wide angle, side focus, IR, which is illuminated reticle, so wheat, 11 layer fully multi-coated lenses, high torque zoom ring, and a fast focus eye bell. Sweet piece of glass, a super sweet piece of glass. And I believe it will definitely make my shooting experience that much sweeter. And a sweet, bipod because it has the little picatinny rail on the forend for either a bipod flashlight laser light whichever sweetness so i've already done a little bit to it not much but a little bit my first looks guys it's a black traditional synthetic stock it's very very lightweight and would seem plasticky and um, some people might complain about that but i'll give you some reasons in a minute to decide not to it's a pretty awesome looking air gun. So why would this be one of the best entry level PCPs? The first word that comes to my mind when I look at the Avenger is sharp. It is absolutely sharp looking PCP. And without testing it, without reading up any info on it, this is what I see about it right off the bat. So it has the traditional stock right here. There's no um, thumb hole stock or anything like that. And there, of course, the trigger guard, the trigger. It says it's a two-stage trigger. I don't know yet because, of course, I have not shot it at this point. It comes with two mags and a single shot tray. Two mags, guys. Not very many guns you get that come with two mags. These hold, this is a 25 cal, so it holds eight shots. The side lever action has the little side lever handle. Now, why? Why would it have two gauges? I know most of you already know this. So this gauge right here is the actual pressure in the air reservoir, which holds 4,351 PSI or 300 bar. So that's how much the air reservoir holds. Now this gauge right here actually shows you what the regulator is set at. So guys, it's regulated. There's that which is another really good reason why it would be a great entry-level PCP. Regulated um, PCPs are wonderful. You don't have as much of a shot curve. Um, you don't have as much as a drop of a drop. Guess what another really cool thing is? The regulator is easy adjustable. You just turn it over the belly of the gun or the forearm, whatever you want to call it. Um, this little compartment right here that has a little rubber cover, that is your regulator adjustment screw. So you don't have to take the gun apart. It's all on the outside but don't lose that little thing. But, but, big but, before you adjust your regulator, you must let all of the air out of the reservoir. So make sure that is the, that is the little Allen screw right there that releases the air from the air reservoir. Do that first before you adjust the regulator. 
So that, that's cool that that's all external. You don't have to get inside the gun to adjust your regulator pressure. One thing that I found really, really cool when I was mounting my scope, that doesn't look like a regular Picatinny rail. You can actually use either nine millimeter dovetail rail or the weaver rail mounts because the rail adapts for both. How awesome is that? That is absolutely brilliant. I wish more of them were made just like that. So cool. Now the hammer spring is easily adjustable right here the back of the action. I have a barrel band, the barrel is fully shrouded. Guys, I think I'm running out of things that, oh, <laughs> almost forgot one that's so, so important to me. Check it out, guys. This gun has a place to mount a sling. And right there is the front one. So, <laughs> super important. Now this gun is super light, so it wouldn't really be much to carry it out into the woods in your hands, but it is very nice. I mean, trying to carry game, having a sling to just throw your gun over your shoulder. So good thinking guys. So for guys off the top of my head, that's what I'm getting so far. <laughs> Lots of awesomeness. So guys, this gun has a lot to offer, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. And guys, we know what's on the inside is most important anyways. Well, that's it guys with the Air Venturi Avenger. Well, not really it. It's it for now. I just wanted to go over it, kind of tell you guys what I thought about it, kind of my first looks, first thoughts. So I did. Now I get to go out and shoot it. So guys, there'll be more to come. So that's not it, it, just for now. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Ten points. Did I, get it? I think so.